Hey guys, welcome to the Tower Series 7 Dan reviewing this, which is the Marvel Legends series Winter Soldier from the Crimson Dynamo Wave. So, really cool, really blessed to pick this up. We got a nice, clear view of the box. On this side, we have the artwork. And uh, here we have some more of it. We have a bio on him. And really cool, the packaging is different from the movie figures, but you'll notice in the background there's a lot of symbols uh, like the Doctor Strange logo or Force Hammer or Ant Man's helmet or Spider Man. So, I think it's pretty cool that they did that. Um, that's a, I think it's a new packaging style, and hopefully they'll continue that. But I really like this artwork, too, so hopefully they'll do that again, too. Yeah, let's open this up. So, here we have the new Winter Soldier, and this is pretty cool. This is based on the comic book version. I think it's based on a more recent comic book version, just mainly because the star is kind of more similar to Captain America. It's not the usual red star he has, so I kind of think this is like more modern-day Bucky, but I'm not sure, or Winter Soldier Bucky. But we got the hair, and it goes to the side, and it kind of stays here. I like how they molded this. I think it looks pretty nice. The rest of it kind of like goes down, and it looks pretty good. I think the face looks good, too. You got the Donimo mask. Uh, then you have this, which which is cool. He's got some equipment there, more than likely bullets. And this is painted nice, so it actually does look like leather. And he's got this blue shirt underneath, which has a little bit of some creases. So again, it looks kind of realistic. I like that. Then he's got his belt, which has all these clips and knives. And you have a gun here. Now, this gun is not removable. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, seeing as we actually get a gun with him that's similar in size, I would have just read her if they had not molded this and just given us an empty holster that we could have put his gun in. Because it just kind of feels a little weird because you can't really do anything with it. And while, you know, he can just hold his gun, I think it would have been a lot cooler if you could have put the gun in the holster. Um, but you also get these grenades on the side, which is pretty cool. And then over here you have a silver arm, which is done nicely. It has some nice edges into it. He's got a watch here which I think is cool and his gloves are fingerless so you can still see the silver part that's cool and like I mentioned the star it's like red white and blue more Captain America color so I think this one kind of uh you know he's not really the evil version of Border Soldier anymore but not 100% sure and then he also has fingerless gloves on this side too he has two trigger hands then down here he's got some more clips because he has to be prepared <laughs> and uh the pants look good again they have that crease and wrinkles so that's nice and yeah so overall I would say he's pretty good in terms of detail as for articulation you got a 360 of the head you can look up and down the arms rotate 360 they swing out the shoulder pretty nice pretty uh easy there you got a 360 there double jointed elbows a little stiff 360 of the wrist and they're on hinges 360 of the torso there's an ab crunch the legs come forwards backwards and outwards 360 of the thigh double jointed knees and the feet move up and down and rotate side to side so in terms of articulation pretty good now, as for weapons and accessories, you get uh, this, which is a little mini small gun. This is the one I think that they honestly should have just, like, made to be able to go in the holster. Like, sure, it would have taken away from the detail a little bit, but I would have been okay with it um, overall. And you can just slide this into either of his hands really quickly. Like I said, he's got trigger hands, so that's good. I'm not going to... Uh, doesn't really affect the pose like personally I think regular grip hands are just fine but still yeah it definitely helps and then you also get this gun and I like the color on these they're kind of like beige but they're also kind of like gray and I think we've seen both of these before to be honest I think we've actually seen these come with winter soldier action figures before but regardless you know it's, it's a pretty nice mold so if it's not broke don't fix it and uh yeah but overall they're very cool and really quickly here's a comparison with captain america from the civil war movie and they're pretty good they're in a good height fringe with each other um i don't know if the movie captain americas are the same size as the comic book ones but i believe they are so pretty good there and yeah so overall pretty neat thank you for watching please rate like and subscribe